Oh, okay. No, you're, you're you're right. I was just a little bit looking at the name because we're like we're describing the mecha currently right now. It's like the shit mm -hmm. has a name, so I figured <laughs> like so I went to MHQ. They use what it's do what it's supposed to do, which is actually archive like the names and shit like that. Rob says it all comes back to uh, Erica Seven. Just forget yes. AOL. <laughs> oh gosh. Mm. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> a a a a a I, I don't know what you're talking about, Rob. No, I don't think I've, I've never heard yeah, of that before. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Nothing yeah. exists outside of that first show. And Nobody now we're could. done with talking about Eureka Seven. We're not going to be. Oh no, we're not done with that shit. No, we're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're we're done. We're we're done. Shit. We're done. We do this all the time. We do this all the time. I bet you haven't watched them damn movies that came we, out recently. Oh, they're, shit. Okay. they're okay. I've, I've okay is an understatement. <laughs> In comparison to before, that's that's saying a lot though. So I don't again, can watch that shit. I but don't. No one care. really cares like, anymore either. I really Most just people can't, don't care. I can't. I can't really uh, fathom. I can't summon up the energy to care anymore, even though I love a Ruckus people. Are, yeah, people are just burnt off. I, although I'll give it credit, yep. though those those new movies they have to which are right of the of the first TV show, which, which none of the other products had. So there is that. Well, the other problem with it is that okay, I guess I'm going to talk about Erika Seven AO here. Ah, but from my, but from, my under, but from my understanding. AO had like one writer and then the writer ended up quitting and they had to like rewrite the entire show if I remember right. Uh, yeah, I, but I don't think it was the original writer of the first so show. Good. My point is being it had like inconsistent writers so they had to hastily rewrite the show again. Probably. And yeah, that is never... all I'm going to uh, fucking say on that show. Cause... Yeah. But you know what's funny? It's still a better love story than Twilight. Remember that. I don't, I don't uh -huh, know necessarily. Beans. I don't really uh -huh. think so. I actually think it's just as bad. At least I reckon seven AO. Yeah. Oh, Eureka series. Mm. Nice shot, shot. Baby. I like I like Eureka Seven. I like that series in general. It's still Whoa. holds up pretty damn strong. I'm gonna kill this guy. I mean, Eureka Seven, it, it, you know, the first TV show, good, but still the best, most mecha show to me is Mars Daybreak. Yeah, it's I'll, also I'll, got. I'll, a, it's also got a great soundtrack. <laughs> so you would say. For someone who's never watched Eureka Seven, that the TV show itself is really good. Yeah, yes. it was actually heavily popular. It still is to this day. Yeah, in fact, the, like you, that show is massively popular when it. Yeah, it, 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 it goes, on Konami. If you have a chance, pick it up on Blu-ray. It goes on sale easily. You can get it for twenty bucks on, on a good sale. I'm pretty you sure it was on Toonami. Yes. Okay. It was Which on one? Adult Swim. What Eureka yes. Seven? Yes. yes. Toonami. It was on Adult Swim before it became. Okay. Careful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it was, but it was on that like Cartoon Network uh, late hour anime. Uh, no, I'm just going on the Adult Swim one. I'm, 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 I'm not wrong with the character design, although you're probably not gonna like like a good portion of the cast either. They're pretty unlikable. Uh -huh. They just seem Hol very Holland's weird for someone who, up until then, was mostly experienced with like Gundam and Dragon Ball. Oh, uh, what were you saying, Dolo? Character. I like the character designs of uh, Eureka Seven. Oh, yeah. I got nothing wrong. Nothing wrong with the character designs. Just a lot of them. Pretty unlikable, just... though. I was just yeah, there's a lot say, of unlikable characters in that show. I was just gonna say Holland's really unlike is really hard. Oh, to he's, he's an asshole. He's like, he's he was an asshole at first. I was gonna say his actual brother is more likable than him. That's saying a lot. Yeah, that Dewey? is saying a lot. <laughs> Dewey. Dewey was right. Is that what Mata says sometimes? Dewey yeah. was right. Hey, yeah, you're right. Dewey was right. Dewey was Dewey completely was... wrong. <laughs> he wasn't wrong. He was right. Fucker. That old ass meme. It, I'll never forget that. Crawlians and humans can't be, uh, can't coexist with them. Yeah, Dewey is literally the, the popular Sirocco of Eureka 7. Although I still think Paptimus is way better, but, um... Oh, yeah, yeah, Paptimus is a lot cooler, because he did a lot more shit. Honestly, my favorite character, in, my favorite characters in the Eureka 7 TV show, by far, are the, are the crew from the, um... Gecko State? No, Gecko the other, State? the other one, the, the Azumo. Oh, the yeah, you're. The, I know who you're talking about. You're talking yeah, about like, Dom like Captain, Dominic Captain, and things like that. Yeah, right? with Dominic and Amone and um and Jurgens. And the captain. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Jurgens is my favorite character in the show. Captain like, Dominic. he should have gotten more screen time. He got his little arc at the very end of the show, 
for like four episodes, but man, that really needed to be stretched out to like ten or so because I think he was the best. He character. was the little, he was the little rubber raw, but he stayed a decent guy the whole time though. Well, I'm gonna yeah, pretty that, much. I'm just gonna be that guy saying my my favorite characters were Ray and Charles by far. That's Easy. those are really good characters. Yeah, I really like Ray and Charles. I like the black couple, the one. Um, damn, damn it, I forgot. Oh, the the the, the two pilots. Yes. Yeah, the two pilots of the Gecko State. Yeah. Those are my two favorite characters. Ah, Moondoggy was pretty cool. Moondoggy was annoying. The guy yeah, he was kind of annoying. <laughs> he was a dick. Oh, he was like, shut up, kid. Wait, wait. Is that, is that, he, the, is that, is that he, the painter guy? Or is that someone else? No, he's no, not the painter guy. He, the guy with the blue hat. He's the kid uh -oh. before Rinton became the kid. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh -uh, never mind. I think about someone else then. Moondoggy's the character that like, you, you would probably say you would like, but never say you love. Just because he's like kind of like the guy who's always there. He's the middle ground character. But then again, I hated Holland, and Renton was really annoying sometimes too. So maybe that's why I liked him in comparison. Let's see, Hop Holland was, was just. Um, I liked just Renton like... way more than Holland. <laughs> yeah, Renton was also pretty annoying, but then Eureka was pretty bitchy too. Yes, uh, Holland was voiced children. by Kenji Fujiwara, who died last yeah, year. Yeah, and so was. Uh, actually, I'm not gonna go in that territory. But Hop, who's um the second in command? Hop on the closed eyes and the I would say. Uh, holding on to the money. Yeah, yeah, Rob, the, Rob, older, Rob, the older surfer guy. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> yeah. Rob, Rob says he hates the orphans. I, I don't I don't blame him. They were kind oh, of let's see. Uh, <laughs> Mari, Link, oh, yeah. and the, the other the kid. White, yeah. shit. white base trio? Yeah. yeah. The white base trio. They're shit. literally the exact same as the white base trio. Down to the, the, kids, the kids are just there to give more context to Eureka's character, I think. Yeah, um, pretty much. Nice pretty job. much. It's also just to make Dewey seem like really creepy, in my opinion. Dominic was annoying to me at first because he was just all like, I'll buy the book and all this shit. I'm like, oh, will you shut the fuck up? Really, really. But, uh, he was competent, though. at least. I'll give him that. Barely. Mm. Well, I mean, and also he had that cool captain on his side, too, so. Yeah, barely. Mm -hmm. That yeah, time the, he let... the, best, the best part of that show was towards the was towards the end during that during their whole like arc where they like, you know, switch sides or whatever. That was the best part of Eureka 7, I think. Times. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Eureka yeah. Seven kind of lags, and like it kind of it kind of slows in the middle, like right around right before that Charles and Ray beam. Oh, and Renton yeah. runs well, away. That was, that was the most annoying. That, that's part. the worst. That's the worst part Favorite. of the show. I mean, oh, even before that, when they're when the soul Gekka's, searching, when Gecko when the Gecko yeah, pretty much. gets damaged and gets damaged, and they have it's to like, hide in the cave. That's where it gets really kind of rough. The rough around just like because of the part. fact. That's also where the point where I really fucking hated Holland, where he was like, he was giving Grantham so much trash. He was giving him, he was giving everybody. Not, not, not even Super Robot Wars could say that. Even the, all the other characters like, man, man, Holland, you're well, an asshole. Like, like <laughs> Holland was, Holland was on, on that, that Rede level of just wanting to be the main character, but not, when he wasn't actually the Sorry, main character. Sorry, buddy, you're not the main character. You got sidelined. Exactly. For a kid. Mm -hmm. like, he, like he was like he was reading levels of just annoying. Ah, so the shit, oh, you, so the shit yeah. from see Destiny problem. Mm, 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 that's a completely different thing. That's a completely okay. different thing, and Shin that's a different is thing. the main character of. Uh, Sorry. Of yeah, so Destiny. you say, so you say, sir. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Hey, so does Bandai because they still use him in, in all the pro promotions hey, for that show. Yeah, so the video games. Yeah, they it's keep, just they, they keep trying to retcon that mm. show too. I don't buy it. I don't know. buy any of it. Mm. Uh, I mean, I guess the only thing that he got out of Holland got out of it was Tahoe, but then again, that was an on and off relationship. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, Tahoe could do better. She did! I mean, even... No, she did. She went back to him. Yeah. She went back to him! It stayed know. because I guess she wasn't going anywhere. She's knocked up. It's like, well, damn, I might as well stay with you. Well, where was she going to go, Dewey? <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. no. Hell no. Well, well, seven yet. <laughs> I, would, I, would have, I would have mind if she went back to Dewey. With his, <laughs> with his suit? Yeah, right. I mean, he even calls her, her his sloppy seconds. He is more stable than Holland's dumbass, though. So. <sighs> But that's that's not saying much. Family issues. Like, it's like, wow, what is up with you guys? Y'all, y'all, can't hug it out. There is one thing it's I, I thought was There's interesting no such thing as that family issues. I mean, he was just pissed off enough that Dewey killed his own dad. It's like, really, really, you, you that worked? Anime, anime logic. Killing your dad. Yep. 
Well, they also <laughs> impl- they also imply that the, the the that story that Dewey told isn't actually the story the real story, because like even the Holland by the end of the series straight up says I don't even know why my brother went insane. <laughs> so. So they, uh, so they do leave some like Derivative. hidden things there where it's like the story that Dewey told, they make him like a little bit of a more of an un- as an unreliable narrator in that moment. Or maybe he yeah. just forgot to bring it up or to conclude it properly. Remember when at the beginning of the series he was in a ball and chain? Like literally on his leg he was a ball and chain? Yeah, I do remember something like that. Like he was arrested and it's just a ball and it's like really that's all you get? Oh boy. The, the, like I said, the show is really good, but I, some of the mysteries that it has with it, I don't really mind it too much in that show. The more you know. Really, just so I think the show, if you haven't watched it yet, you should just check it out right now. So. Mm-hmm. There's all our Funimation. I believe it's on Hulu and Netflix. Let's just get the movie. I'm pretty sure it's everywhere at this point. Yeah, yeah, but you know, you, you also get dirt cheap on Blu-ray out during good sale too. Yeah, on Amazon. Usually, I got it for like I bought it again for like twelve bucks and gave. I think last year it was like I the original. It's like here, you might want this. Yep, I got it for twenty bucks. I'm not complaining at that price. And it yeah, came. I got mine it, too. it was the essentials, and it's like, oh yeah, there's a code for this too. You can actually watch this on Funimation. Uh, like, oh, Eureka Seven. Currently, the uh, Eureka Seven, the complete series on Amazon is twenty five dollars right now. And that's I'm, it, I'm and that's sure. Give it a minute. It's not too. on uh, Netflix anymore. Give it a minute. No, it's not on Netflix. It's not. Here's the thing. I follow this guy on Twitter called the Broken Otaku. He usually lets you know when good shit goes on sale. So, if you follow him, it's like Wario sixty four. You'll find some good shit. It's. We'll find out how to kill this motherfucker. I'm sorry. I'm trying to beat this game. <laughs> Are you serious? You died. But yeah, like it's. It's twenty five dollars currently on Amazon, so it's fairly easy to get. 